Today, we're taking a deep dive into some unique Canvanimation techniques to achieve this eye-catching title scroll effect. We'll cover everything from asset selection to sound design and transitions. The fully editable Canva template can be found on my Patreon. Let's get straight into it. Open Canva and create a new design. I'm using a 16 by 9 video crop, but you can follow along in mobile format if preferred. Let's first set the background color of the canvas to dark gray. Now let's open the Elements tab and search for some textured overlays. Search for Film Texture White Dust. Select one you like and position it like so. Next, press T on your keyboard and type out your opening title. In this case, it's Defining Moments of the 20th Century. Put a line break after the word Moments, then highlight the top line. Change the font to Plafair Display SC, set it to bold, and change the font size to 90 pixels. Now highlight the bottom line, change the font to Laura Regular, and set the font size to 45 pixels. Set the color of the whole text layer to a lighter shade of gray. Next, Open the Elements tab, filter for Animated Elements, and search for Animated Glitch Triangle. Select this one, rotate it by 90 degrees, and align it to the right so it acts as a focus arrow. Now search for Animated Vintage Video Static. Look for this one, then resize it so it takes up one quarter of the canvas. Hold Alt and create three duplicates so it covers the whole frame, then flip two of them horizontally to avoid a wallpaper effect. Select all four layers and group them together like so. Duplicate the page and delete the top overlay group so we can work on the text layers. Select the main title, reduce the size substantially, and position it at the bottom of the frame like so. Open a fresh page and set the background color to white. Press R on your keyboard to create a rectangle shape, resize it like so, and then open the color palette and change it to a gradient color. Set the main color to the same gray and the background form the previous pages. Then set the preceding color to the same tone, but set the opacity to zero. Create another rectangle like this one and group both of them together and copy it to page two. Create a duplicate, rotate it by 180 degrees and align to the top like so. Place a match and move transition between pages one and two with a 2.5 second duration. Press T to open the text function and type out your first chapter. In this case, it's 1903, Wright Brothers Take to the Skies. Change the font to the special elite font, set the size to 60 pixels and align it to the left. Duplicate it, change the details for the next chapter, then repeat this process until you have your full chapter set complete. Make sure all text layers are aligned and distributed properly, then select all of them and change the color to a darker shade of gray, like so. Group them all together, then place them on the first page and reposition the group out of sight at the top, making sure to leave a bit of empty space on the canvas. Now copy the group layer to the next page, and while holding shift, align the first chapter to the focus arrow. Change the color of that first chapter to a light gray, then reposition the whole group so it sits behind the gradient layers we made earlier. Now let's have a quick preview of what we have so far. Nice. Duplicate page two, position the next chapter to line up with the arrow and change the colors of both text layers like so. Set a match and move transition at a 2.5 duration. We can make more adjustments to the page and transition duration when we do the sound design later. Repeat this process until you have completed the full chapter timeline. Time for some sound design. Open the audio panel, filter for sound effects, and search for electrical zaps. Select electrical zaps too and line it up with the animated title. Reduce the volume substantially to around three. Now find electrical zap one and place it just after the first one. Now find electrical short 
and place it beneath the other samples. We'll need to extend this sample, so place two duplicates after it and set the end one to fade out. Search for hand crank. Select this one and place it just beneath the transition between the first two scenes and reduce the volume substantially. Search for window open lever. Select this one and place it under the hand cranks for an extra layer of authenticity. Now search for hand crank wire six. This one is ideal for the rest of the transition since it's slower. Place one between each scene, making sure to line it up well with the animation. Remember you can get the fully editable version on my Patreon, and check out this tutorial to see this animation integrated into a historical documentary with royalty-free footage. Until next time.